We know him as Hudson Hawk. We know him as Joe Hellenbeck. We know him as Harry Stamper. And finally, we know him as John McLean. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Yippee does Bruce Willis say yippee-ki-yay? Yes, he does, from time to time. Bruce Willis was born in Ider Oberstein, West Germany, on March 19, 1955. His mother, Merlin, was German, from Kassel. His father, David Willis, was an American soldier. What's Bruce Willis? Real name. Walter Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis, who spoke with a stutter, attended Pence Grove High School, where his schoolmates nicknamed his Buck Buck. He joined the drama club, found that acting on stage reduced his stutter, and was eventually elected student council president. So, back to you, stuttering John. How's everything? <laughs> After graduating from high school in 1973, Willis worked as a security guard and transported crew member at the DuPont Chamber Work Factory in Deepwater, New Jersey. He moved to New York City in 1977 when he supported himself in the early 80s as a bartender in the Manhattan Art Bar Kamikaze while living in a Hell's Kitchen neighborhood. In New York City, uh, you, uh, you bartender, bartender. Uh, you know, taking what jobs you could get. As I mentioned before, Bruce Willis was a bartender at Chelsea Central in New York City. Actor John Goodman, who knew Willis from before they were both famous, once said Bruce was the best bartender in New York. He was known for keeping the patrons entertained and putting on a great show. And at that time, interesting story happened with Bruce. And mm -hmm. there's a story, I don't know if it's just a legend, that you, you lived with two women. You lived with two women at the same time, is that true? It is true, you heard that story, huh? Interesting story, but the ending is also pretty funny. I was in a bar and uh, there were a couple of friends of mine and uh, they came to the bar one night and they had been kicked out of the apartment they were in and right. uh, I needed some extra dough, you know, on the rent. So I said, look, move in with me. Uh, so they brought all our stuff, uh, two big furry cats, uh, and moved in. Uh, I moved in for like nine months. We all slept in the same bed. <laughs> I'm sure that we don't need to talk about uh, his movie career, how Bruce Willis became famous and so on. Just let's talk about some, as I think, interesting things which happened with Mr. Willis. For example, if you will ask Bruce Willis which movie was his first movie in his career, he will answer like that. What was Bruce Willis's first movie? The first Deadly Sin with Frank Sinatra. I was a uh, stand-in for uh, David Dukes. Here he is. You missed it. Let's watch it one more time. Stop. Here he is. It was a movie from 1980, and Bruce Willis was not even credited. But there is one interesting thing. In the cast of this movie, first deadly scene, there was an actor whose role was detective number three. The name of the actor was Bruce McLean. Coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs> In 1997, Bruce Willis began filming a romantic comedy called Broadway Brawler, where he played a former hockey player finding love. However, after only 20 days of shooting, Willis, who was also a producer, decided to replace the director, cinematographer and others due to creative disagreements. This caused the studio to hold productions, and Disney, the parent company, covered the cost in exchange for Willis starring in three Disney movies, including hits like Armageddon, and Sixth Sense. He played a lot of tough guys, but does he really tough in real life? You're a, a tough guy in real life, that, that you have a, a dark side and you like to occasionally rough it up a bit. Is that true? It is true. What is Bruce Willis known for? Violence, laughter, and looper. While shooting the Die Hard, the loud blanks used for the gunfire scenes caused Bruce Willis to lose two-thirds of his hearing in the left ear. This happened during the famous table scene where his character John McClane takes down a villain. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> I guess you remember Arnold Schwarzenegger as a California governor. Long time ago, Bruce Willis was asked, maybe he want to be a United States president. I could run. Believe me, I'd make a good president. I'd change some things. I would probably be assassinated. I'd be the next president to be assassinated if I ran, so. And here is, I guess, the most odd question for Bruce Willis. 
Have you seen the Gangnam Style video? Yeah. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Now we all know that unfortunately Bruce Willis finished his career because of illness. Here is the last scene from his last movie. I could already feel him in my head. Come on! You've always wanted this. But for us, he always will be tough, but fun guy. Just because I'm in a bunny suit doesn't mean I haven't stumbled across a basic truth now and then. The feeling of being insufficiently appreciated is a common childhood lament. And for all of his problems, Bruce Willis once said, Nothing can keep me down. I've been attacked by terrorists, asteroids, film critics, music critics, restaurant critics, divorce lawyers, male pattern baldness, and none of it, none of it stopped me because I am still Bruce Willis. 